Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Uh, yesterday I went into Stockholm on a shopping spree. I was uh, also hoping to be able to go in and do some sketching, but unfortunately uh, I decided to go on a day when there was a massive snowstorm and you literally couldn't see more than a hundred feet in front of you. So sketching was a bit out of the question. It was also really cold and it wasn't very fun trying to um, walk around with snow blowing in your face. Um, so in the end I just went to the uh, two or three art shops that I wanted to go and have a look around and got what I wanted and then come home. So unfortunately I didn't get to do some sketching this time but maybe uh, I can go back in a few weeks and do some more. So I wanted to show you what I got. The things that I actually went in for um, was I have got some pastel pencils for my birthday back in September um, but I didn't have any paper. Um, I tried ordering it from Amazon and uh, it was out of stock. So in the end I went into Stockholm and this was the best I could find. Um, I'm really hoping that it's gonna, going to be good. It's called the Canson, and I'm going to try and pronounce this, Mitont. That's what Google says anyway. So we'll see. <laughs> uh, paper. And it's uh, meant for pastels. 33% uh, cotton. Uh, 160 uh, GSM or 75 pounds and I got this in both the um, grey tones that you can see here and then in the earth tones as well um, so I'm going to be trying that out it says it's got a honeycomb pattern which means it's oh it's just got a slight indentation but not as much as watercolour paper um, so I'm really hoping that this is going to help the pastels uh, stick a lot better to the paper and not just rub off as soon as uh, as I've tried to blend them. So uh, we'll test that out in another video and I'll let you know how it goes. So after that I decided to invest in a pad of this Arches watercolour paper. It's cold pressed and it was on special offer. Um, so I'm having a bit of an issue with watercolours so far. Um, I haven't really shown anything on my channel because I just all of the results have just been a disaster. So I thought I've spoken to a few people who do watercolours a lot more often than me and they all say oh, it might be the quality of your paper. So I thought mm, Archers, that's a really good brand. This was mm, quite expensive but it was still on special offer so this works out. It was uh, 110 kroners which I think is around the same as £11. Uh, in English money so uh, and it's got 15 sheets they're just slightly bigger than A5 um, and it's 140 pounds it's 100% cotton and so yeah I'm looking forward to trying that out and seeing if it is the paper or <laughs> if it's just me and I'm just useless at watercolours which it could quite well be um, so yeah that's for trying out later and then after that I was trying to uh, get hold of some red pro markers pro markers is my alcohol marker of choice um, and I went into the shop and I ended up buying these instead oh my goodness um, so yeah the pro marker range is really good but red pens is that they, they don't have any that many that really blends that well so I was going to just go in and buy the extra ones that I don't have. Um, but while I was in there, the lady showed me all the different kinds. Um, they had these touch markers in um, the, which have got bullet nibs. And they also had the touch markers with the brush nibs. And they even had all the co markers. So I spent ages trying out co, pro, co picks, trying out pro markers, trying out brush markers, trying out these touch in both the brush and the uh, bullet nibs and the thing is I really love bullet nibs I just I don't know why but I don't get on very well with brush nibs um, these though these won by a mile firstly because they had like loads of different red colors um, this was just a few of them I picked up and uh, I'm hoping I'll be extending my collection at some point um, but yeah they they just blend amazingly there's like really juicy and they just went down really like a really nice cover so yeah this might be my new favorite alcohol marker i might be putting these on my christmas list 
So yeah, that's uh, to add to my pro marker collection, even though they're not pro markers. And then um, this was the final thing, and uh, they had a special offer on, uh, so I couldn't, um, I couldn't say no. Uh, I love colouring with colouring pencils, and so far I've only really had uh, my W H Smith's water um, colouring pencils, which I've had since I was fourteen, so they're about twenty years old now. But yeah, these were in the same shop that I uh, went in to get my pro markers and then didn't get any pro markers. Um, but these were a really good deal. They usually cost around £180 here if you convert it from the Swedish money, which is quite a lot. These were on offer for 130 So uh, instead of ordering them online and then risking them being bashed around and broken in the uh, post, I decided that, oh, why not? I'll treat myself. It was it was payday just last week, so uh, you know. And so uh, yeah, I went and all in and got the hundred and twenty set of the Faber Castell Polychromos. So I'm really looking forward to testing these out soon. That'll be really fun. So yeah, that is basically my trip to Stockholm yesterday. I really like that these have got the metallic sort as well. I'm going to put in a little clip at the end of this video just so you can see how snowy it was. I went up to um, one of the highest points in, in Stockholm where there's usually like a really amazing view. But uh, you can't see anything. So I'll add that video into the end if you want to have a look. Otherwise, uh, I hope you enjoyed what you've seen. And if you want to see me testing out all of these um, supplies, then... Uh, Please subscribe and I'll show you a little bit more in detail in my coming videos. Have a great day. Uh, bye.